Part 4 Directions In this part, you will listen to several short talks by a single speaker. These talks will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each talk, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Jamie Foster at Phoenix Merchandising. This message is for Ms. Helen Rowan. I need to inform you that the specific model of VelociClean vacuum cleaner that you ordered is out of stock. However, we do have something similar called the Wade & Platinum. It is lightweight and removes more dirt from carpets than other models. Because of its design, it's easy to control and move around any indoor space. And since we were unable to fulfill your original request, we can offer you free delivery if you purchase the Wade & product. If you're interested, you should visit our shop and I'll show the vacuum to you. Number 71. What is the purpose of the message? Number 72. According to the speaker, what is a benefit of the weight in platinum? Number 73. What does the speaker recommend? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Are you in need of a boost to your workout? Then try PowerSource, the brand new enhanced water drink from Pure Athletics. Power Source is infused with various essential vitamins that will give you the extra energy you require during your favorite physical activity. And now, check out our special online promotion. To the first 1,000 customers who fill out a short survey on our website, we'll ship a free bottle of our newest Power Source flavor, Berry Mix. But this offer is only good until supplies run out, so act now. This won't last for long. Pick up a bottle of Power Source today and add some energy to your workout. Number 74. What kind of product is being advertised? Number 75. What does the speaker mention about power source? Number 76. What does the speaker mean when he says, This won't last for long? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Good evening, Ms. Jameson. This is Richard Powell calling from Smithson and Howard. As you already know, we are supposed to meet at your office this afternoon to review design plans that my firm created for your new home. However, an emergency meeting has come up which I must go to at 1 p.m. Consequently, I can't visit you today but will be sending a colleague of mine, Lori Fielding, to take my place. She's very familiar with the plans for your house and can answer any questions that you may have. I apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. Number 77. Where does Mr. Powell most likely work? Number 78. What must the speaker do in the afternoon? Number 79. What does the speaker say Lori Fielding can do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following broadcast. This is Patrick West reporting live for WRRE Eyewitness News. 
I'm here at West Wellington Park, and we've got warmer than usual temperatures, a nice breeze, and clear skies again on the last day of the annual Cherry Festival. So come on down. There's something for everyone. Kids will enjoy the exciting rides and games. Parents will appreciate the musical and cultural shows, and both will love the delicious food being served by the many booths set up here. The festival will end tonight after the 8 p.m. Mississippi Mounds concert. I'll be joined by the event organizer after a short commercial break, so be sure to stay tuned. Number 80. What is the broadcast mainly about? Number 81. Why does the speaker say, There's something for everyone? Number 82. According to the speaker, what will happen at 8 p.m.? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following instructions. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you all here at the Culinary House. Today, you will be learning how to make homemade pizza. This will be the first of three dishes that you're going to make. I've already set printed booklets on the counters containing all of the recipes that you'll need this morning. Please take them out and open up to the recipe on the second page. Before you start cooking this meal, however, you all need to break up into pairs. Since there aren't enough utensils for each student, everyone will have to find someone else to work with. Number 83. What does the speaker say listeners will do? Number 84. What has the speaker placed on the counters for listeners? Number 85. Why do listeners need a partner? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Zach. My name is Alison Peng, and I'm calling from Creative Prime Agency. I've contacted several galleries in the Richmond area about your work and heard back from Electric Space downtown. The curator from that gallery expressed great interest in the contemporary paintings you created and said she'd be delighted to exhibit them there in October. Electric Space's art gallery is a newly renovated building with ample space for your large scale landscapes. It's hard to imagine a better choice. So please let me know if you'd like to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity. Number 86. Who most likely is the listener? Number 87. What does the speaker imply when she says, It's hard to imagine a better choice? Number 88. What does the speaker instruct the listener to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement May I have your attention, please? An inspector from the Federal Department of Safety will be visiting our plant next Friday, the 12th. I just want to remind you all of a few things. First, because the inspector will examine each work area, you all must ensure that our safety equipment is in good condition. Following this meeting, I will hand out lists of things to check. Please fill these out and hand them in to your supervisor by the end of the day. Also, there will be a short meeting at 3 o'clock for all departmental managers. Since the conference room has been reserved already, we'll gather in my office. 
At that time, we will go over the entire schedule of events for the day the inspector visits our facility. Okay, that's all for now. Number 89. Who does the speaker say is coming to visit? Number 90. Where will the managerial meeting take place? Number 91. According to the speaker, what will be discussed during the meeting? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. Today marks an important development for both Hanaway Industries and Glaris Technologies. Now that our two companies have combined to form Hanaway and Glaris Incorporated, we are the largest information technology firm in Europe. By consolidating our resources, we have positioned ourselves to serve clients more successfully than ever. This will surely be a benefit to our customers and the industry as a whole. However, we have a lot of work to do before we become fully operational. To that effect, employees from both of the formerly separate companies must continue to establish effective communication with each other in order to improve efficiency. That will be our primary focus over the next two months. Number 92. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 93. What does the speaker mention about Hanaway and Glarus Incorporated? Number 94. According to the speaker, what will happen over the next two months? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and invoice. Hello, Mr. Mead. This is Matthew from Belleville Interiors. I want to let you know that we'll be able to put up the wallpaper in your new office next week on March 29th rather than April 3rd, as one of our current projects will end earlier than expected. You wanted us to start as soon as possible, so I assume this plan is acceptable. But, um... Please call me back to let me know for sure. One more thing. I double-checked the measurements of your office and it will actually take 11 rolls of wallpaper to cover the walls. I'll update the original invoice and send you a new copy this afternoon. The only change will be the additional charge of $38, plus tax, of course. Number 95. What is the purpose of the message? Number 96. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Which quantity on the invoice has to be updated? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk and graph. After reviewing last quarter's financial reports, the CEO has decided that we need to reduce expenditures across the board. He asked that all employees come up with ways to cut their department's expenses. So it's our responsibility to reduce spending in the marketing department. This is a priority, so you should postpone your other projects if necessary. There isn't much we can do about the expense that accounts for the greatest share of our operating budget, but I guess we could try to reduce the next largest item by 20%. I have prepared an overview of our department's monthly expenditures to help you with this task. Um, I'll hand it out to everyone in a minute. Number 98. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 99. 
Look at the graphic. Which expense will most likely be reduced? Number 100. What will happen next?